Here we're going to learn the basics of ASIC repairs. How to properly tin your BM1397 chips. We're going to start the process using a tin tool. We can find all kinds of different tin tools on our website. For example, single chip or multiple chips tin tools. The tool has four parts, the top frame, the stencil, the positioning plate and the base. We need to line up the stencil in the top frame using these screws. We use the pegs on the base to index the top frame. Place the chip in the positioning plate. Close the tin tool and verify the alignment of the stencil in the top frame. We should see all the pins of the chip through the stencil holes. We then apply a small amount of soldering paste on the stencil. Using a tin scraper, we spread the soldering paste through the stencil, then we gently remove the excess. We can then remove the chip from the tool with the help of a needle. Using a soldering air gun set at 480C, we melt the soldering paste on the chip. Finally, we inspect the chip to make sure the pins are all balled properly. 